Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to shrink MDF, also known as database data file in SQL Server. And uh, in this demo, we'll be learning shrinking MDF database uh, data file using SQL Server Management Studio. And we'll be using T-SQL script to do the same thing. And we will also talk about best practices and cautions when you shrink a database data file. So let's go ahead and first learn how to shrink uh, using SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL script and then we will talk about best practices and cautions. So here's my SQL Server. I'm connected with my SQL Server uh, via SQL Server Management Studio and any database that you wanted to basically uh, go ahead and shrink the file you can right click on that database and click on task and go to shrink. You will have two options. One is database that will be entire database and I wouldn't recommend doing that. That will be uh, all the files, especially the data files, if you have multiple data files, uh, MDF and NDFs and all that. Uh, if you wanted to shrink a particular file, in this demo, we're shrinking a data file of a database, then we're gonna go ahead and click on files. As you can see right here is file types, is data file, and if you click on that, you will get an option data file log file and fi file stream data in 2005 you will not get this file stream data you will just get the data file and log file and uh, up here uh, when you click on data file and file name right here if you have more than one data files and the other data files other than mdf they, it'll be ndf and as in nancy so they'll appear right here and you can choose if you have multiple data files which data file you want to uh, basically go ahead and shrink so in this uh, particular demo we have only one data file which is right here as you can see demo.mdf so i'm going to shrink that uh, i have an option right here as you can see right uh, if you if you click on reorganize pages before releasing unused space and shrink file to if you haven't made any changes in your database and uh, your required minimum space 3 MB and up here uh, your shrink file 2 they are the same number then it's not going to shrink your data file because this is required basically for the data this is the minimum space that's required in your database so don't try to shrink the data file uh, to 2 MB because it's not gonna work basically it might corrupt your database so I'm going to uh, warn you right here that if if it's the same number then you're you more likely to have the scenario that is not going to shrink your MDF but uh, uh, just uh, to show you since if you need to basically go ahead and uh, shrink your MDF then you will have option right here that um, okay it is let's say it's 150 shrink to and up here minimum required is 10 MB then you can go ahead and shrink your data file so let's go ahead uh, let's let's just assume for a second that um, this is uh, minimum space required is 1 MB and up here shrink file 2 I can change it to 1 MB then I can go ahead and click right here okay and it'll shrink my data file so this is how you basically use sql server management studio to shrink your file sometimes what happen is that if you have minimum space and uh, you have uh, uh, you click on uh, release unused space because some uh, in especially in the log if you click on log right here as you can see the minimum required is zero and the up here we have one MB we can go ahead and basically shrink this database to zero the log file but in uh, also if you have uh, taken the backup of the log file then there would be a uh, unused space but still SQL server log will be holding in onto that space and will be used by another uh, transactions uh, other transaction it will not consume more space on the disk but it will use the uh, the space that is released by the backup of transactional so that option can be used at that time release unused space but um, up here this is what you do you click on as far as this demo concerns you click on data and select your data file and uh, come up here or reorganize pages before releasing uh, the space and you can put the number up here whatever the number that you want to shrink and click OK so this is how you shrink the data file using SQL Server Management Studio in order to use T-SQL script let's go ahead and do the same thing using T-SQL script so 
in T-SQL script, we use uh, DBCC shrink file, and this is up here is your uh, data file. If you select a different data file, you need to give dot NDF or whatever the the file name is. This is your file name. This is your data file name, and up here is your what you're shrinking to means if uh, you're shrinking uh, your data file to 10 MB then it needs to be 10 if you're shrinking to 200 MB it needs to be 100 and this is in MB so you can go ahead and basically run this script and it will go ahead and shrink your data file so this is how you use, uh, shrink your data file MDF file using T-SQL script so let's go ahead and um, talk about the best practices Best practices as far as let me go back to shrinking the file. Some of that I talked about that uh, first of all um, I don't recommend that you go ahead and shrink the data file if uh, just when you absolutely have to shrink your data file that's when I recommend that you can go ahead and for that there are cautions that let's say that there there was a big table 20 gig table and you truncated that table and you don't need that table anymore now that table was holding database space that was 20 gig but you truncated that table and you don't need that table again you can go ahead and retrieve that information uh, I'm sorry the, that uh, space you can go ahead and then it will make sense to go ahead and shrink the data files uh, just keep in mind and the second thing that I wanted to mention here once you do the data files shrinking right here um, for some reason uh, it creates a bad impact on your indexes I would recommend my recommendation is that as soon as you uh, shrink your data files MDF files you can you should go ahead and rebuild or reorganize um, at least reorganize your indexes otherwise you will run into a performance hit so this is just a, again, um, as I said, that uh, it's a best practices not to basically uh, uh, shrink uh, uh, the MDF files unless you have to do it. And if you have to do it, you need to do it with caution. You need to make sure that uh, you have uh, um, basically empty the space in the database. And now you want to retrieve that space back. Then you can go ahead and um, um, you know shrink the MDF file. And I hope this video helps.